the last time I used this grinder, I'm pretty sure it works, but the button on it is broke. I don't know if it's wired up to continually run. It may not even work. God damn it. I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it's just going to run. Oh God, it's got to be grounded. Okay, it works. It's just it's just wired up to run the whole time. Or the switch broke in the on position. One or the other. Okay, so on to another bench grinder video. This bench grinder was my dad's. Um, I told my mom to go ahead and get rid of it, but when I went over to her house and had to unbolt it from the, uh, the workbench, I decided to, I, I think I'm going to keep it. Um, I wanted to take it apart, clean it up, paint it, make it look halfway decent, and then I kind of thought that, you know, because it was my dad's, my dad was uh, never organized, completely dirty, everything was a mess. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it rusty and just try to get the, the, the button so I can turn it on and off. And then I actually I actually need another bench grinder on the wall over there for uh, wire, wire wheels. So we'll go ahead and take these grinding stones off. and I, I, They're wore out. I can tell just looking at them. They're pretty much soft. And we'll put wire wheels in there if I get this fixed. So, yeah. But I will tell you this. The difference in the old motor and I went and started the uh, new machine over there that the difference between both of these craftsman engines this older stuff is better stuff um, if you can find some of this older stuff uh, it's just made better it's usually made in America and when that when they when they started going mass produced they really uh, the quality isn't as good so yeah let's get started oh the McRib is back well, first things first is uh, we're going to address the on and off switch. So I actually have a few of these switches, but they're different. Oh, wait, someone get shot out there. Imagine that. Uh, so we'll kind of find the one that I think is going to work. They should work for this. Uh, the main part is checking how this thing got wired up is if he just rigged it rigged it up so I have no idea so basically what I'm going to tell you is we've I've only got one shot for this switch. Either I'm going to wire this up how it's wired and it's going to work or I'm going to fry all the electronics inside the uh, on the switch. So that's fantastic. Boy, that thing's dirty in there. And I can remember using this thing when I was young to grind metal and stuff down. So red red black sometimes when you're disassembling this stuff the best thing that you could do is actually come back with a camera and take a picture of what it looks like before you took it apart I can't even tell you how many times uh, before camera phones were available you take something apart and you have no idea how it goes back together so well I'm just gonna Here's your ground. That'll be your ground. That should be your positive. And then this will be for the light, I'm assuming. So. Just don't know why he never replaced this switch. One, two, and three. It's not marked on the switch. What's what? Ah. Uh. 
mean, these are basically the same switches. One, two, and three. Oh, we might get lucky. It's numbered one, two, and three the exact same way. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, I think we're in luck. Maybe I'll take a picture and show you that. I guess we'll just pop this old switch out of here. I think these ones I bought are gonna work. One, two, three, okay. One, two, three. All right. Well, that ground one's a little shorter. Let's make a real quick video here. If it don't blow it, which I think I don't think it will. Ugh. Turn it off. Plug it in here. Well, it's off. Let's see if this lights would be good. And that'll tell me right there. Oh my god, this thing works. I'm surprised. All right, here we go. It tripped the whole breaker in the in the wall. Oh, oh shit, I better unplug it. Plug it, and this this power cord here should turn the light on. It should technically. Let's see what happens if it pops it. There we go. One of the smartest men I ever. I've ever known, I've met a lot of people. Well, I guess we better make sure the grinder shuts off. Now we'll just go ahead and put the, the plug back in. There 
And then the next step, we will change out the uh, the grinding wheels to the wire brush. I'm just going to plug this in let this run for a minute. Make sure it's not going to blow my breaker again. Okay, and for the next step, uh, since I did get it working, we'll just, well, we'll try to get these screws undone here and get access to the arbor, which is a half inch arbor. And every, all this stuff's rusted. And once we get access to the arbor, then we'll take these wheels off. And I've actually got um, a soft, I don't know if that's copper or not, it's brass, brass coated uh, wheel, six inch wheel. And I also have a six inch uh, steel wheel. The brass will be for like softer metals. Um, well, I really won't, don't plan on working anything with titanium. Uh, but titanium, aluminum, and that kind of stuff. And then the steel will just be for like stripping paint on the nuts, screws, and bolts. And uh, that kind of stuff. So, But I've just decided I'm going to keep it rusty. Ugh. It'll just kind of remind me of some of some things when I was younger. I could play some screws. And I will be mounting this on a max haul um, vice mount support to match the other ones. So if you haven't seen that video, video description will be below of how I'm going to mount this to the wall so I don't have to explain everything. And uh, we'll, uh, I'm not so sure how to lock this, to be honest with you. So I can get that off there. Okay, so the end of the arbor is three quarter. So on the other side of the shaft with the plates off, we're gonna just use a crescent wrench. Or if you have two three quarter wrenches, you can do that. Actually, I might get an impact here. Take this, this wheel off of here. You can actually save these wheels if you have a uh, what's called a deburring tool. Um, you can expand the life of these wheels big time. Go ahead and get the, uh, and these, uh, these wire wheels are just for harbor freight, so won't see any links below for them. Make sure you have gloves on when you're handling these wire wheels. The direction, I don't think there's a direction that these need to go, but you also need to use safety glasses, goggles as well, if you use these wire wheels you don't want to catch a you don't want to catch a wheel a piece of this wire wheel in your eye or something nope it's not gonna fit with the uh crud Looks like I'm gonna to have to take off the grinding, the grinding plate is what I'm gonna to have to do. And this is primarily what's upsetting me about my garage. 
I just have tools everywhere. I don't have anything located in the central spot. I got some of the tools inside of the uh, the toolboxes, but nothing's organized until I get the actual structure of the building taken care of. There's still so much that needs to be done, and now I'm working on these little projects because I can't get anything from the post office on time. I leave the rust all messed up. Ugh. Okay. Now, when you put these uh, Harbor Freight pieces on, you actually have a little piece of plastic that'll fit these five, because these are five eighths, I think, or yeah, I think they're five eighths, but they're shimmed out for these half inch arbors so they can be used on half inch grinders. Now we're just going to tighten this back up. I do not want to, I want that coming off of that shaft. That looks good. So we'll go go ahead and do the other side here. Actually, we're going to put this safety plate back on. Okay, and we'll get it turned around. Oh my God, how am I gonna get that off there? Boy, that was a mistake. I don't think I can zoom that off without holding the other side. I'm gonna have to hold the other side to tighten it, for sure. reverse threaded on this other side. Ugh. Boy, it's, there we go. This thing's probably never been removed. And you can, like I said, if you deburr these, you probably reuse them.
this is much softer of a metal for sure you can just feel it I don't know, we might run into a problem here. Because I'm going to have to shim that out. reverse thread. We'll tighten this down. Hopefully. I think we'll be okay. Just put our cover back on our safety cover. I mean, I could take them safety covers off, but with those wire wheels, I don't want those wire wheels flying off. I think I just broke that. Uh, broke that screw. Anyway, we'll get this plugged in and run this thing. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna see them wires. You gotta be careful them wires. Hopefully they'll stay on there. brushes fly off of there. I'm just going to let it run. Make sure it's going to be okay. The light might be, may have a loose wire on it. Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, Awesome. I'm real happy with this that I'm going to be able to save this. Actually, it's going to save me money, too. So, that's a plus. But next step is I will go ahead and put it on one of my Max Hall uh, mice mounts for all the wall over here. So, and I'll probably clean this thing up before I do that. But I've got to go ahead and get it mounted and drill the holes for the mice mount. I'll just make that another video. But, yep. Pretty happy here. The garage is really, really starting to come along. I just, it's just taking so much time with everything that's going on in the country and everything. Uh, I don't know if things are going to get better or better get worse, but I guess one tip I would say to you is you better invest in yourself and quit investing in all this other garbage. If you think you can actually go out and do something, you need to start doing it because we just can't rely on the government and. Uh, to pay your bills. So, yeah, real happy with this. This is real cool. And I think I'm going to get in the car and go get a uh, McRib. However, when I did see it, they, they used to be $5 for a meal, and now it's $7.53 in Springfield. I'm out of here.